Hello everyone, it's me Indra Madi Gewali, your math teacher. Welcome you all after a long gap in this live class on Janata Television for Distance Education. So in the beginning of the class today, let me just summarize the different topics that we have learned up to the last class. So we started from the first chapter of grade 9 Simath sets and where we learned about what is set, different set operations, types of set and word problems based on two sets. Then we discussed the chapter algebra, we started the chapter algebra and in algebra we tried to learn about different factorization, different types of factorization. So this is the okay topic I am going to connect today. In factorization, we have learned about basic factorizations containing like four terms in some questions five terms which are on the okay based on a square minus b square form or some other types. So today let me connect with same topic factorization and here Today's first objective is after completing this class, after taking this class, we will be able to factorize an algebraic expression having five terms. Okay, so let me take a question, first question for today's topic factorization for today's class. Let's write a question a is square plus 6a plus 5 minus 4b minus b square. Okay, so this algebraic expression has five terms and four different terms are letter containing terms or variable containing terms and one is constant. So 5 is constant term. In such case, though there are different ways in algebra, in factorization or in other topics, there is no a hard and fast rule in algebra factorization or simplification we can use different ways for the factorization of any algebraic expression so I am using one method called completing square method and we will factorize this at the end by converting into a square minus b square form okay let's start this let's write the solution of this factorization it has five terms for this type of factorization first of all let's okay insert these two terms in a bracket why I am doing this I am inserting two terms a square plus 6a in a bracket I am trying to convert this into a perfect square into a plus b whole square form what is the exponent form of this its expanded form is a square plus 2 times a b plus b square. I am converting this into okay, a square plus 2 a b plus b square form for its factorization. Now we can say in the first term, let us just tally this first two terms with this expanded form. There are three terms in a plus b whole square why I am using a plus b whole square its reason is just look at the bracket what is the sign of second term 6a is positive so we are using this expanded form a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square so I will go slowly with this question look at this what is the first term of this perfect square a square we have this first term a square so we can write same a square plus the second term twice a b second term is 2 times of a b so 2 is in formula let me write same 2 times what is a a is the first term of this perfect square so what is first term here a itself 2 a dot now we require b what is the next okay later here 2a b so we have already got 
twice of a to a. Now what is b? To obtain b, simply look at this second term in the original expression. It's 6a. So out of 6a, we have taken factor 2a. Now what should we multiply with 2a to obtain 6a? Obviously, 2 times of 3 is 6. So 2a times 3, because 2 times of 3 is 6, a is same. So 2a, so this is b. a square plus 2ab plus what is the next term in the expanded form? b square plus b square. So what is b3? So 3 is square. Again, let us see the original expression and just identify which term is extra in the first step in our okay, factorization. a square is in original polynomial, 6a is here, but 3 square is 9. So this is not in original expression. So I am adding this extra to change this into a square plus 2ab plus b square form. So here 3 square is extra term added to convert into a perfect square. So we need to cancel this term subtracting the same term minus 3 square. We can cancel these two terms and get the two terms, first two terms of original expression. While doing this, we do not change these three terms. We do not change 5 minus 4b minus b square. So I am writing all these three terms same plus 5 minus 4b minus b square. Now if we say first three terms starting from here, first to the third term, first three terms, we can easily guess these three terms, okay, we can convert into a plus b whole square form. a square plus 2ab plus b square. So it is in a plus b whole square form. So let us convert into that. Let us change into this form a plus what is b? a square plus 2ab. So what is b? 3. a plus b whole square. Now we can simplify the constant term like terms. Negative 3 square, this is minus 9. Negative 9 plus 5 minus 4b minus b square. So I am writing this term same. a plus 3 whole square Okay, what is negative 9, positive 5 or minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4, minus 4b, four minus b square. So if we consider this first, okay, two terms in a bracket, in the first term, a plus b, if we consider this is first term, a one term, how many terms are here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I am, okay, supposing a plus 3 is a first term, second term, third and fourth. Now, we need to convert this expression into again a square minus b square form for its further factorization. So for this, let us think, how do we do this? How can we convert into a square minus b square form? For that, these three terms should be converted into again perfect square. Let us check how can we do it. Let us guess it. If we take negative sign common from here, negative sign common from here and if we insert these three terms in a bracket, obviously we can change these three terms in a perfect square and then we can convert into another form a square minus b square. Let me write here a plus 3 whole square, a plus 3 whole square minus, I am taking negative sign common here, I am taking negative sign common. So what is the sign of 4? Negative. After taking negative sign common, sign will be changed, it should be positive, 4 plus 4b 
plus b square. Can we factorize this? This expression has three terms. If a expression has three terms, how do we factorize this? There are okay, different ways. We can split middle term. Let's arrange the terms here. A plus three whole square minus b square plus four b plus four. Let's try to factorize this. A plus three whole square minus. For such factorizations, we need to okay expand to the four terms. There are three terms, b squared plus 4b plus 4. We need to expand to the four terms, and then we can factorize by grouping. I mean, there are okay, various ways to understand. Let's see here, in the rough side, we can see here how do we factorize this. I'm taking a term, b squared plus 4b plus 4. I am taking this term here. There are three terms. What is coefficient of b square? 1. What is the constant term? 4. First of all, we need to find product of constant term and coefficient of b square. So, what is the product? Product is the product of constant term and coefficient of b square, so it's 4 times of 4, 4 times of 4 is 4. And the sign of last term determines sum or difference. This is positive, this is also positive. So what is the sum? Sum is always coefficient of b here. Four. So let's find two numbers whose sum is 4 and product is also 4. So what are the two numbers? Their sum is 4 and product is 4. For this, we can simply factorize this number. So 2 times of 2 is 4. And we require two numbers with sum is 4, sum is 4, and product is also 4. So what is 2 plus 2? 4. What is 2 times of 2? 4. So we can split middle term 4b to the two terms 4b is 2b plus 2b and then we can factorize. So I'm factorizing this expression here. b squared plus 4 is 2 plus 2 times of b plus 4. Or b squared plus 2b plus 2b plus 4. Now we can take common by grouping. Means we can take common from first two terms and then from next two terms. What is common from these two terms? Obviously, b is common. b is common. So, what are the terms remaining? b plus 2 plus what is common from here? From 2b and 4, 2 is common, b plus 2. Now, can we take this common factor again, b plus 2 common here? Yes. So, b plus 2 times b plus 2. This is the process of factorization. If the algebraic expression is in the form of like ax squared plus bx plus c. So I am writing directly these two factors here, b plus 2 times b plus 2. So you can write this solution, we can write this solution, this is done here separately for factorization of b squared plus 4b plus 4. So a plus 3 whole square, now let me Okay, move into next step. Minus b plus 2, b plus 2. There are two same factors. So we can write it b plus 2. Okay, equal to square. Now this is in a square minus b square form. What is a in fact? a plus 3. What is b? b plus 2. So what are the factors of a square minus b square. What are the factors of this? Its factors are a plus b times okay, a minus b. 
what is A? A is the first okay, term here, A plus 3, first term in the bracket and what is B? B is B plus 2. Now, let us convert into the factors A plus B times A minus B and then we will get the factors of the expression A plus B, A plus 3 plus what is B? B plus 2, A plus B, B plus 2, second factor is A minus B, what is A? A plus 3, A plus 3 minus what is B? Okay, B plus 2. So, we need to open bracket with this negative sign. So, what is minus times B? Negative B. So, negative sign times positive. So, minus plus is minus 2. So, it gives A plus B plus 3 plus 2 is 5. A minus B plus 1. So, these are the two factors of original expression a square plus 6 a plus 5 minus 4 b minus b square. Okay, I hope you got my point especially in such factorization we first of all try to convert first two terms into perfect square by adding a term and then at the end again we factorize by changing into a square minus b square form. Similarly, we can practice other questions. Now, let me take okay, one more question here. Let me write another question. We are discussing factorization and almost we have discussed different types of factorization. Let me write next question here. 9 times x plus y whole square plus so x plus y okay, minus 8. 9 times x plus y whole square plus x plus y minus 8. We can begin now x plus y whole square times 9 plus okay, x plus y minus 8. Okay, I am making this factorization easy by supposing this x plus y a. Why, why I am doing this? The reason is only, so I want to okay, convert, I want to transform this expression into a simple expression and then we will factorize this. If we suppose, if we suppose x plus y is a then what will be the new expression in terms of a obviously 9 as it is this a is equal to 9 so I am writing same what is x plus y so I am supposing a the index of x plus y or power is 2 9 a square plus what is x plus y a minus 8. Now, this expression has three terms 9a square plus a minus 8. Just before we discussed and learned how do we factorize such expressions if it has three terms and the expression is in the form of like quadratic in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. If the expression in the form of ax square plus bx plus c where a is not 0, it is similar. What is a? a is coefficient, a is coefficient of the variable here, 9. b is coefficient of, okay, a, or we can, here is expression is in terms of a, so we can write this a is small a is square plus b is small a times plus c, or this is one of the standard form of quadratic expression. In such case, we split the middle term. We split middle term and factorize this. Let us try. What is a square coefficient 9? 
what is constant term minus 8. Now we need to find product of two numbers. We need to find product of two numbers A is always product of constant term times coefficient of a square what is 9 times of a 8 is 72 what is sign of constant term this is negative so difference or difference difference is coefficient of the middle term a what is its coefficient 1 for this, you can factorize 72. We can factorize 72 into its factors and find two numbers whose product is 72 and difference is 1. So, can we okay factorize? Yes, we can easily factorize this. Two numbers are here itself 9 times of 8. What is 9 multiplied by 8? 72. What is okay? 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So, these are the two factors of 72. Let us factorize this 9a square plus two numbers are okay, 9 and 8. So, 9 minus 8 times a minus 8. This is equal to 9a square okay as it is plus let's open bracket plus what is 9 times a 9a what is 8 times a minus 8a okay minus 8 what is common what is common from first two terms 9a so a plus 1 minus 8 is common a plus 1 we can again take the common here a plus 1 is common so what are the remaining terms 9a minus 9a minus 8 but these are not the final factors of 9 times x plus y will square plus 9 sorry plus x plus y minus 8 here what is our assumption? We supposed x plus y is a to simply change into simple form for the factorization. Now, after okay, splitting this into two factors, now we simply replace a by x plus y. We can write replacing replacing a by x plus y because this is our assumption we made a is x plus y then we get what is a a is x plus y so x plus y plus 1 times 9 as it is 9 as it is what is a x plus y minus 8 so, what are the factors x plus y plus 1? We can open bracket 9x plus 9y minus 8. So, these are the two factors of original expression. Now, we discussed two factorizations. One containing five terms and other okay, in terms of quadratic having three terms in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. Now let me talk about <coughs> some other factorization now. Next expression of the form a cube plus b cube or a cube minus b cube. This is other type of factorization that we need to learn in grade 9 expression of the form expression of the form expression of the form a cube plus b cube or 
okay a q minus b q before starting some okay questions for factorization let's learn what are the factors of these two expressions what are the factors of a q plus b q it's factor a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square so these two are the factors of a q plus b q form similarly what are the factors of a q minus b q a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square if we multiply these two factors we will obviously obtain a q plus b q so these two are the factors we can find how these two factors a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square how do we okay no these two are the factors of a q plus b q we can derive this but here directly we are applying the formula a q plus b q two factors are a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square similarly what are the factors of a q minus b q its factors are a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square so let me take a small example short example here factorize x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 simple example okay so index of x and y both are 6 and this is an even number so there are two ways for the factorization we can either convert into a square minus b square or a q minus b q form let me use one of the way x to the power 3 x cube times okay x cube whole square minus y cube whole square if we multiply the two numbers in the okay power or index 3 times up to a 6 3 times up to a 6 so this is correct this is in a square minus b square form factors are a plus b times a minus b so what is a okay the term in first bracket x cube so a plus b x cube plus y cube a plus b second is a minus b what is a x cube what is b y cube so these are two factors of x cube whole square minus y cube whole square now we can further write the factors of a x cube plus y cube this is in a cube plus b cube form so here are the factors first factor is x plus y times okay, x square minus x y plus y square what are the factors of this okay x minus y times x square plus x y plus y square so this is the way how we factorize x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 now we can arrange this x plus y then x minus y and we can write these two factors okay here simply we okay try to convert into a square minus b square form and then we factorize thank you all for watching Janata television live class so so i need to end the class here thank you everyone and have a wonderful day ahead we will continue factorization in next class on sunday thank you all